polycystic ovary syndrome. Um, I, it's something that that I see a lot these days, and uh, I hear uh, like a lot of lot of lot of women have it. Um, are, are you are you are you? Are you I, I'm sure you get a lot of patients come in with polycystic ovary syndrome. Well, and and related disorders. In other words, unfortunately, reproduction yeah. has become a medical issue for women. Um, literally, for many, the, from the time they start their menstrual periods, um, mm -hmm. and one of the reasons is because their unhealthy diets promote abnormal hormone levels, yeah. um, most of the time high estrogen levels. Mm -hmm. And so we see women who have premenstrual syndrome and cramps and excessive bleeding and irregular periods and, and migraines associated with their menstrual periods. And, and really these should all be non-events. This shouldn't be anything that's occupying a lot of your time. And then as they get older, they suffer from infertility polycystic ovary syndrome, as you mentioned, and, and actually polycystic ovary syndrome um, also has, in addition to high estrogen levels, um, also has some issues associated with insulin resistance. And mm. so uh, when we get women to eat um, this plant-centered, low-fat diet that, that we talk about, a number of things happen. Um, as we, when we were talking about type 2 diabetes, of course, the cells become more insulin sensitive. We get rid of the insulin resistance issue. Estrogen levels go down as a result of the lower fat, less animal foods or no animal foods, uh, fiber, which carries estrogen out of the body. People lose weight, and, um, and women, uh, their body fat, will, their actual fat cells will manufacture estrogen-like hormones, so hmm. they start dropping fat. So their estrogen levels drop, their sex hormone binding globulin levels increase, which inactivates estrogen, carries out of the body. Um, and the insulin resistance goes away. And so PCOS will resolve, as will all these other issues that I brought up too. Yeah. Uh, and they can go back to not having to think about uh, menstrual periods all the time. All right. So e even if someone's had polycystic ovary syndrome for a long time, is it still reversible? Yes, it is. It okay. Is and even if they've been told they, they can't have children, etc., is, is that still still reversible? Yes, and we have a lot of women who've delivered babies who were told that they would never have children. Um, but it's a, but but see, I I have a philosophy about this. I think that when women can't have children, they either can't conceive or carry a baby to term. In some situations, it's nature's way of saying, you know what, you're not doing such a great job taking care of your own body. Mm. We think maybe it's probably not such a great idea for you to be taking care of another one too. Right. And so once these women get their health back. And they really get themselves in op optimal shape. They find it much easier to get pregnant and yeah. to carry it. Yeah.